gather around a little bit. My name is Pamela Landworth. On behalf of all of the staff here at Give Kids a World, I just want to say welcome home. Because if you're here with us this morning, you're part of the Give Kids a World family, and this is your home. And we are thrilled that you've chosen to join us today as we rededicate our Wacky Waterworks. It's Jack's Wacky Waterworks. And Chris and our beautiful new pirate ship, the Serendipity. It seems like we've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. So thank you guys for being here. You know, storytelling is at the heart of everything we do. It's one of our core values. And we've served over 176,000 children from all around the world. And each one of those children have a very special and unique story. And our goal here at the village is for the week that they're here, we want to write a new chapter for them in that story. A chapter filled with unconditional love, wonderful memories, lots of caring, normalcy, and everything from life's simplest pleasures to the stuff that dreams are made of. And that's our mission. You know, ever since we opened the village back in 1989, we've had a ship right here in port. It started with the Happy Harbor Fun Ship, a very small ship back in 1989 that was a gift from our friends at SeaWorld. And then in 2010, we actually dedicated our first serendipity. But after years of stormy weather and lots of uh, tender love and care by children dancing and playing on it, we finally had to sink her several years ago. But as our resident pirate said, and I had to write this down, which is why I'm carrying this piece of paper, smooth seas never made a skillful pirate. And truer words were never spoken because you always have to have challenges. And I think we may be having challenges with our screen back there. So, but again, smooth seas never made a skillful pirate. So we are all very skillful pirates because we've had very stormy seas many times. But unfortunately, the serendipity as it was became a huge part of our story and a huge part of that experience during the week that the families were here. Because every Friday night, we would host a once upon a village party complete with pirates and princesses and mermaids and an occasional dive-in movie. And it was just magical. So it was so hard to say goodbye to that pirate ship because it created so many incredible memories here for our families. So we dreamed of building a brand new pirate ship that we knew it was gonna cost a lot of money. So I turned to our wonderful friends at the Don and Lorraine Freeburg Foundation and said, would you help us bring this dream back to life? Would you help us build this beautiful new serendipity? And without batting an eye, as they have so many taken projects to them, with a $1.5 million price tag, without batting an eye, they said yes. And we're so blessed that we have a couple of those folks with us today from the Don and Lorraine Freeburg Foundation. If you're here, raise your hand. But I'd like to welcome out Amanda Freeburg Donovan, who was the one who said yes, to thank you from the bottom of my heart and share some thoughts with us. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amanda Freeburg Donovan, and as Pam said, I'm the executive director of the Don and Lorraine Freeburg Foundation. Thank you all for being here for the dedication of Serendipity. I want to give a special thank you to Pam and to all the Give Kids the World staff and volunteers for hosting us for this event and for everything you do for all of the kids and their families. So our foundation was started by my grandparents over 30 years ago, and two of our main focus areas for grant making are children and health care. While our grants to organizations such as children Hos Children's Hospitals are focused on care, testing, and research, our partnership with Give Kids the World is because this incredible village and the amazing people here enable critically ill children and their families to spend a week where they can focus on just being kids. We are so pleased that this beautiful ship will welcome many pirates, princesses, and mermaids to the Park of Dreams pool for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amanda. Just the generosity and outpouring and ongoing love and support is absolutely amazing. We're just so appreciative of everything the Freeburg Foundation has done for us. This opportunity for me and, and everything that I did in the creation of it is here and here. From the moment that it was at design the ship, I knew it was my responsibility to bring happiness and joy to the children for many years. Unfortunately, the prior ship did not withstand the sun, did not withstand the Florida heat and weather, which is brutal, as you can tell. Uh, imagine working in this weather on a daily basis, especially with hard hats and masks. It's quite daunting. 
This ship, by the way, is built with an aluminum alloy understructure and what we call an epoxy clay on top. It's built to withstand time. It will be here for many years after I'm gone. And the way that I envisioned the ship, this is my legacy. So my name is on it. In fact, every square inch of this ship I, have, I was a part of, and I take that very personally. They said, Mike, I know you just gave a presentation and you're quite busy. I have another project, however, I'd like to consider working with you on if you're interested. I said, well, I am a bit busy right now, Michael. He said, it's a pirate ship. I said, I will be there in five minutes. So as an artist, um, in your career, it's very, the very few times that you have an opportunity to design a pirate ship, and especially one of, of this beautiful magnitude. Um, if you're not familiar with the scale, we're dealing with 70 feet in length and 74 feet in height. It's a very large undertaking. I, again, I was responsible for every inch of, of the creation, also the demolition of the previous ship. Um, and as Pam had said, calm waters don't build captains. Um, this, was, this was very rough waters. On a daily basis was a new challenge. Um, whether it was dealing with the sun, dealing with the rain, but mostly dealing with all of the different things that did not flow smoothly, but that's perfectly fine because I took each day as a challenge. Each day was important for me to just muscle through and make sure we got the job done. But more, and more importantly, and I'll have to thank Walt Disney for this, Walt Disney has a term that he coined, plussing. And anything that I do in my art career and we do at Steam Labs, we always plus the project. So designing just a ship is not enough. We went back and we plussed it and plussed it several times over. And I think it shows. I don't want to run on too long. Thank you so much for coming. This is a huge honor. Actually, it's been a huge journey for me. And I appreciate you coming today. Thank you. Hello. Let's just keep this one. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. A great story. And I hope we get to see the pictures now of um, you saw how it came to life, which is absolutely amazing. You've noticed that many of our venues and entertainment areas, we get to name after those very special children. And one of those children I came very close to many years ago, when I went up to visit him in Nebraska, said to me, you know, Pam, children like me, we're not afraid of dying. We're afraid of being forgotten. And that's always stuck with me. So every child who visits here gets a star on the ceiling of our Castle of Miracles. And if you haven't seen it, please, before you leave here today, walk in there and just get a sense of all of those stars representing one beautiful child who's been here at the village. But we, can't, we don't have that many places to name. So we're very blessed when people and those little children leave their footprints on our heart that we're able to recognize them. First, our Wacky Waterworks, but it's been here for a while. But we're renaming it today Jack's Wacky Waterworks because Jack was here several years ago. And from what I understand, he loved nothing more, even more than going to the parks, that his dream was to play in the Wacky Waterworks. And he would lay under there and just let the water flow all over him. And when it was time to go back to their villa, the first thing he would say is, please, somebody take me back there. And that became his home. So we're very honored to rededicate our Wacky Waterworks as Jack's Wacky Waterworks. And come to find out after we um, asked his beautiful mom if we were able to do that, Jennifer, she said, we call him Wacky Jack. So it was serendipitous, to say the least. And then when we saw these beautiful characters on the side of the serendipity, some of them just spoke to us. And that's what happens. It just speaks to us. And our little turtle friend there, we've named after Vinny. Vinny was the very first child that we welcomed back on January 17th after a long 10 month closure. And I was here to greet him as they went into their villa, this precious little boy. Unfortunately, he was in the midst of the pandemic, so there was no hugging. We had to keep our six foot distance, but he just kept saying, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And two short weeks later, he wasn't with us anymore. I took a look at that turtle and you can see the precious little face those beautiful eyes and that smile just spoke to me as Vinny. The next we have a crab. 
and that's named for Tristan. Tristan was here several years ago. We lost him two years ago from Nashville. His mom's not able to be with us today, but serendipitously found out um, he got his diagnosis just several days before his fifth birthday. So his mom kept that inside because she didn't want to spoil his birthday. But because of all the emotions that were running through her, of course, she'd forgotten to get a cake and forgotten to get decorations. So she ran in Publix to buy a cake and there was only one cake and it happened to be a pirate cake. And that started Tristan's love of pirates. So it's only fitting that we have our crab here named for Tristan. And then of course, Cambry was brought into my life just earlier this year when she was introduced to me by two of our wonderful volunteers from Michigan, Jenny and Steve. And they told me this amazing story about this incredible young woman who was so full of life, so full of spirit. And when we saw that beautiful seahorse, I said, wouldn't you want that named after Cambry because of her spirit? And wouldn't any captain want somebody with that kind of spirit and love and fight? Because the first introduction I had to Cambry was a video of all of her friends singing the song, I still have a lot of fight left in me. And those haunting words of Cambry saying, I still have a lot of fight left with me, stay with me every single day. And every time I look at that beautiful seahorse, think of Cambry. So thank you for listening to those stories. They're very special. We're very blessed to have three of those moms with us today. And it's all about the moms because ships, of course, are ladies. And to christen this ship, I'd like to welcome up the moms. Thank you so much. These beautiful, brave women the caregivers, the love of my life. They're part of our family now and forever. We love you. Nancy, it's like a second mom to Cambry and Shannon's best friend, and we're so happy that you joined us as well. So if you want to just gather around over here, I've been told this is a breakaway bottle, but I was not allowed to actually hit it on the ship. I have to hit it on a post because if I break the ship, I'm, I'm history. So, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. No way. 